This is going to be a bit of a rant onto why I'm not playing this game as much anymore, specifically PvP. I'm not going to get into the obvious lack of content, but mainly stuff like desync and balance decisions. I know it's not that serious, it's just a game, but if I'm not having fun, then I'm not going to play it. It's simple as that. And I'm pretty patient too. I've been through the one-shot Ice Spike meta, the bow jump cancel era, the time when Hatchet was doing triple damage for like a week straight, the one combo SNS build meta, the recent musket rapid fire fiasco, etc. And I have to say this is hands down the worst it's been out of all of them. The main thing I want to talk about is just inconsistency. You could do the exact same thing multiple times in this game, and it'll work half the time and not work for the other half. So let's start with the most glaring issue, animation speed. Depending on your ping and your distance to the server, your CCs go off faster. Hammer is a prime example of this. Look at the difference in these clips. And this happens with everything, it's just more obvious with CCs. You can't call this game action combat and have a big issue like this. Next up, pots bugging out. I'm straight up in the pot drinking animation. It doesn't heal me, it doesn't go on a cooldown, but it makes me do a slow walk in the full animation. It's been a bug since launch. Next up, my character randomly decides to punch people in combat. This has been going on ever since the combat rework. Next up is the famous bow hitbox. People cried about it so much and got it nerfed and now look at it. My arrows are going through people again, just like they used to before the buff. Is this the high skill cap bow you guys wanted? Why is there no middle ground between a huge hitbox versus my shots clearly going through people? Next up is just plain old desync. I get stunned from 10 feet away. Sometimes my vault kick flies through people. Sometimes it just keeps me in place. You have dudes teleporting across the map. My sweep or javelin goes through people. Certain high ping players teleport whenever they dodge, making it impossible to shoot them. My repost almost never works. And I know what some people are going to say, these are such rare occurrences and nitpicks. I agree, by itself they're rare, but when there's this many of them out there, it's common in almost every PvP encounter you're in. Most of this is just stuff I noticed while editing my montages. I didn't go out of my way to clip these. I can go and make a 20 minute montage of buggy moments like these every week if I wanted to. Next up, the icing on the cake on top of all these other issues. This bitch is its own category. Greatsword. Everyone is using it and it's hands down the most broken and brain dead weapon I've ever seen released in this game. And it's also the most widely used one. Yeah, yeah, VG and Blunderbuss were OP, but not this OP and definitely not this fucking popular. Its hitbox and magnetism is like if a pre-nerf great axe had anal sex with pre-nerf bow and somehow produced a baby. On top of that, they also have a root, a haste, a stagger, a cleanse, 100% crit chance, grit, cooldown reduction, passive HP gain, stamina gain on hit, near permanent and power cap, and a disease. All of this is possible in a single build by the way, I'm not just naming every ability. I'm not even counting the reduced dodge distance that every melee weapon causes from hitting people. That was a good change in my opinion, but combined with Greatsword, it's a shit one. It's like they took the best thing about every weapon and combined it into one. And now I know what some of you are going to say. Adapt. Get some slash gems and shirking fort. Motherfucker. First of all, I'm using a 45% slash resist set in these clips. Second of all, I would do that more often if Arena didn't bug out my HP every time you re-roll inside of it. Notice how I'm 200 con and 13k HP, and then I switch some gear and now I'm 200 con and 10k HP permanently? The only way to fix this is to do a full 3 minute relog. Also, just a few more nitpicks off the top of my head. Enemy healing circles are still the same color as friendly healing circles. You can make our outfits blue and red, but you can't change the color of a skill even after a year. Melee builds can run away better than range builds now. 
cheesy movement and animation cancels that are apparently high skill, but in reality we all just macro them. But then AGS draws the line at other cancels and fixes them. Just not the ones people don't complain about on the forums because they don't know about them. Make up your mind. Also, might as well get into content too. We still have one Opira map and one arena a year after launch. Final Fantasy, a game notorious for having no PvP content, has more maps than this game. Is it that hard to just take a piece of the map and turn it into an OPR map? The entire pushing system is still a joke too. We're doing 2 hours of PvE quests in order to do 30 minutes of PvP. Open world PvP besides griefing chest runs is still dead. We all just sit down in town and queue OPR, arena, or join a war with a mixed roster of the same 100 warloggers who think they're relevant. Why is there no queued 50v50 still? We're asking for the bare minimum here. People also love mentioning that PvP players are actually the minority. You have to realize, we're the minority because the majority PvPers quit ages ago because of this stuff. They didn't stick around. And I know I'm gonna get a few comments from the regular 24-7 angry people like, Haha, get fucked, bow user. Yeah, yeah, I can still shit on you, so it doesn't matter. But I can't shit on you if this game dies. So for your sake, you should support this video. This isn't about bow or my apparently OP build. Because apparently I can't complain about this game if my build is strong. This is about the game simply not working. We all benefit if these things are fixed or implemented.